Hey guys, Devin with Fish Tank Projects. Um, this is about five days into having the jellyfish, so this is update number three. The jellies are doing just awesome. Um, if you saw the previous videos, one of them had a little bit of a hole in ripping them. That is 100% healed. So these guys do an amazing job of repairing themselves. I just put it put in some copepods and rotifers not too long ago, so you can see their bellies are actually full right now, or at least there's some food in them. Um, see those little horseshoe shapes, and you can see a bit of orange around the rim, so that would be the food that they've eaten. So it's pretty cool that you can actually see inside of them and see the food. And I'm amazed at how quick they've healed themselves after not even a five days, there's a tear and a hole from shipping. Completely healed. It looks good as new, you can barely even tell which one it was. And yeah, so that's been great. A uh, couple little mods I did so far. I put a second little air valve in. On the top is just like a little turning ball valve, it's from two little fishies. And what it does is let me quick turn, cuts off the flow. Then if I'm feeding live baby Brian or broadcast feeding the tank, I don't have to worry about the food getting sucked into the filter and fouling the water slowly. Uh, another thing I do, which takes the whole of 30 seconds, is I built a little kind of jellyfish tool, which I use for either target feeding or for sucking up any uneaten food. And I can just give a little suck or push them in if I want to target feed. And it takes about 30 seconds, but usually once a day I'll get it in there. Don't even bother taking the jellies out, you just kind of dodge them. But you can just suck any uneaten food off the bottom and it'll keep your water cleaner. Um, I also have a little bottle of premixed salt water at 1.02. And I use that for just top offs once I suck out too, too much water. But you know, if you suck out 100 or 200 mils a day, you're essentially doing a micro water change every day, which is great for the tank. Yeah, so quick and easy little tool. I also put a little nub of airline on the back. bottom. That's just to prevent it scratching in the tank or doing anything else. So it has a little soft edge. But yeah, five days in and I'm loving the jellyfish. They're all pulsing, they're all active. And I'm amazed at how much time I actually spend watching this tank. I do quite love it. Um, I know on the back read a few things about people, jelly is getting stuck to the back wall. That has happened twice. And that was with the one guy that wasn't pulsing, since they're all healed up and pulsing, so they're all healthy. It hasn't been an issue at all. So I'm loving my little tank, and yeah, stay tuned, like, subscribe, check out my site at fishtankprojects.com, and stay tuned for future updates. Cheers.